Tommy, that draws our pre-season campaign to a close. What are your thoughts after all of that? Well, I thought it was a really good workout for us and for them. Um, they are a team that come out of our division last season and have done brilliantly well under Andy to, to get themselves in the AFL. So I think we've had a real good mix of um, opponents throughout the pre-season. In the last 10, 12 days, have been really tough for the, for the players. Um, obviously, from Bristol City through Birmingham, Crawley and now Bromley, you know, they're all EFL opposition. And for us to have put in the, the minutes we have for the vast majority of the lads, we want them where they are. Um, but I've seen some really good individual performances today, both from the lads who started the game, but also the lads who came on and finished the game. And that gives me more, uh, what's the word, satisfaction than anything really. And touch wood, I don't think we picked up a knock today, which, which is really good. Um, getting Jack back on the pitch is obviously a huge positive for us. Yeah, the performances have been really good consistently throughout pre-season, but when you're actually getting the results against those sides from the, the Football League, it's, yeah. it's very promising, isn't it? Yeah, it is, but it means now, to be honest with you, you know, and, and, and I don't like pre-season games, if I'm honest, um, <laughs> because you can't help but be competitive, but there's nothing on the games. It's, it, it is a, a training exercise, so the, the fans will understand that, and sometimes they... The, the game might get flat for periods when there's lots of changes and stuff, so it's a bit of a hard watch, you know, but... The aim of the game is to get through your, what we've had near five five weeks now, um, pre-season with as few injuries and, and you know knocks that, that that we can and touch wood. Other than the unavoidable stuff, you know we're not not in a bad way. Is the squad shaping up to how you how you'd like it to be a week ahead of the season? Yeah, I mean, listen, everybody, every manager would say you want more and you want this and you want that, but ultimately, I I I'm a big believer in the people that we've got in the building that we retained from last season. I think adding James and, and Dejan's real, real strength in depth for us, um, and yeah, I, I would, I would take another player, but I don't. I think we've got goals all over the team again. You know, it's the way I set up us to play that I don't rely on one player. We were lucky last year that we had three get the near twenties, um, but I think we've got that again this season. So I'm really, I'm really comfortable with where we are, but I'm very well aware that we've got a hell of a tough start. Um, with, with the whole of August and into September, the games are going to come thick and fast. And I'm sure the lads will be disappointed next week when maybe the lads who do the game the, the, the week after. So, yeah, now now's the hard part for me in terms of I'm going to have to mm. disappoint, you know, 10, 11 lads because they all want to play. But that's brilliant. I think it's a good dressing room. Um, we're really looking forward to the challenge. One of the changes we've seen in the league this season is, is being allowed to make more yeah. subs. So there's going to be a yeah. bit more reliance on depth in the squad are you happy with how that's looking yeah as well? massively hugely yeah i mean people people quite rightly were thinking oh who's replaced josh stokes or who's replaced lauren Tolage, or you know where's this player or where's that player ultimately we're confident in the way we're going to play that the players we have now will see us into the start of the season i've got no problem about that um but Proof of the puddings in the, in the eating, isn't it? You've got to, you've got to, you're standing here after a, a relatively successful pre season campaign. That being, I've got 20 odd lads to pick from. Um, so that, that's, that's the, the best bit about this conversation, really.